is one remaining. Here's a code you can use that will keep track of the remaining enemy units, whether they are existing placed units or newly spawned units in your mission. We're going to start off by creating a little mission and we're going to place down an unarmed rifleman. And then we're going to edit him and give him a variable name of P1. You don't have to do this. This is just being set up for Zeus. And then we're going to right click him and edit his loadout. I'm going to choose a loadout for him. This is going to be my loadout. Next, we're going to go to F5 systems, then down to Zeus, then to game master. And we're going to edit this, give the name to the owner, P1. And that's all we need to do for that. Next, we're going to choose our enemy, and it's going to be independent. And we're going to set these guys up as a criminal gang. And basically, place them right about here. I'm going to give them a waypoint. Give them a waypoint of guard. Actually, it'll be seek and destroy. And then I'm gonna go to the map, highlight them, make two more. Place these guys here. And place these guys here. And then move their waypoints to about there. These guys to about there. And these guys to about there. That sets up our enemy. Next, we're going to go to Attributes at the top, then General. Then we're going to set Independence Allegiance to be enemies to Blue 4 because we are Blue 4. Save our scenario. And we're going to put it on Stratus. And we're going to name this Enemy Counter. Next, we're going to go to Scenario at the top and then down to Open Scenario Folder. Alright, here we are in our mission folder, and I'm going to share this script with you guys. So this script, this is actually a code in a normal init.sqf. Credits go to my good friend Gear who wrote this code up because I was working on something similar and got his help to basically accomplish certain things. So let's go over this code. This code will keep track of any existing units in your mission and any units that spawn in your mission. And what it'll do is it will create a little hint at the top right of your screen and it'll say enemy remaining and then show you a account of how many enemy there are in your mission still alive. And then as you kill them, the hint will pop up and give you a total count. Here the count counts how many enemy are alive based on the side. Now this here, when you use this code, you see the three that lit up. Since we are our enemy is resistance in our mission, we're going to have to change this to resistance. So this is about the only thing that you need to do. So if your enemy is east, you just put east. If your enemy is resistance, you put resistance. If your enemy is uh, blue four, then you put west. Because of this sleep one second, which means that every second it's looking to count how many units are still alive, it could affect your FPS. You know, so just keep that in mind. I'm gonna zip this up and I'll INIT SQF in the description of the video. This also works in multiplayer. Let's play it. Alright, so the counter at the top is not going to show until you actually kill an enemy. So we're going to have to kill some enemies. And there you go. So there's a total of 18 enemies. I just killed one. And, uh...
Nine enemies. Five enemies. Four enemies. Here's somewhere. There he is. Three enemies. Let's see where these guys are at. So this this kind of makes the uh, mission interesting. Two enemies. I think the other two. So this code, like I said, only updates when you kill a guy, because it's checking every second. I just swear. <laughs> There he is. One remaining. Yeah, the icons that you see, that's part of a mod that I'm, I'm running. Alright, we got one more guy. Not sure where this guy is at, so let's go to spectator. Way over there. All right. Enemy remaining zero. Let's go to Zeus. And this also works for existing placed or spawned. Spawn units. Now you can see the count is updated to 18, so that's three squads of enemy.
15 units. Pistol. So you can see you could have a lot of fun with this. Set up a mission and just have the enemy count and kind of beat your score, you know, just play till you get killed and uh, keep playing and see if you could surpass how many guys you killed before. I hope you enjoyed that. Just remember that whatever side that you're playing against, you have to define in the code itself. For more codes and scripts, take a look at this playlist. Yeah.